Greetings, people. We're back again, one more time, cooking with a stick. And today we're cooking with a stick and quite a few branches. <laughs> We've got Avani over here, little Sashi, and Navia. All right, you guys ready to cook? Yes! What are we going to make today? What are we going to make? Have a guess. Chicken fingers. Fingers? Chicken fingers. We're gonna make chicken fingers and fried Jamaican dumplings, all right? So, okay, so. And oh, and the banana fritters as well. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is, I'm gonna give you guys maybe a cup of flour each, and I'm gonna teach you how to make Jamaican fried dumplings, all right? One thing though, anything that you eat, anything that you cook, you have to taste. You agree? Okay. Test days, yeah, when it's ready. All right, so, cool. All right, so what we need in here now, uh, give you guys a little teaspoon each. Teaspoon there for you, teaspoon there for you, teaspoon there for you as well. All right, gonna need some salt. Let me just get this table salt. In each bowl, I want you to put half a teaspoon of salt. So, so hold the salt teaspoon in your hand like that. And you scatter it, scatter it all around. Scatter it, scatter it all around into the, and mix in that part. Mix it in. Mix it in, mix it in. All right, here you go. Mix that all in, mix it in, mix it in, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Okay. And here we have a little bit of uh, baking powder. This baking powder is going to help the dumplings to rise up a little bit. There may be a teaspoon of baking powder in each bowl. Mix it up, yeah, keep mixing it. Mixing it, mixing it. I might need a little bit more for this bowl. Cooking Jamaican style, yeah. Here we go. Mix it all up. So the only thing that goes into this dumpling before we start now, all right. One golden rule for making dumplings. First thing you have to do before you start is wash your hands. So over here we have some detergent, hand wash. So wash your hands. Um, does everyone get some soap? Some soap. Smells nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll go so that's what we like to hear. All right, everybody, get in there and wash hands. All right, cool. Now we're gonna go make the dumplings. All right, everyone's got clean hands. Get some paper towel. Rip that up. Rip that up. Cool. All right. Making Jamaican dumplings. So now what we need is, I said it three times already? Yeah. All right, well, I just want you to remember what we're making. Sorry, what are we making? You forgot already. Oh my goodness, that's why I'm gonna say at least one more time. Jamaican dumplings. Jamaican, the fried dumplings. All right, so you guys are gonna need a bit of water each. So I don't know how much water you're going to need, but if for a cup of flour, I'm thinking half a cup of water. So here's what you do now. You pour in a little bit of water. Yeah, just a little bit of water at a time. Pour it in, pour it in, pour it in. No, pour in some water. All right, give it that. All right, start mixing with your hands, with your fingers. Mixing with your fingers. Yes, yes, mixing it up with your fingers. So mixing it up with your fingers, keep going. I'm gonna help you as well. If I think there's too much water or if you need more flour. All right, let me give you a little hand, um, Avani. Let me give you a little hand, so I'll show you. Making Jamaican dumplings, all right. So you get the flour all up nice like that. We're making a dough, right? We're making a little a dough that we're gonna fry. All right, Sasha, are you going with yours? So we need a little bit more flour in yours, Naves. Oh no, you've got enough in yours. Even hey, hang on a second, Naves. Yeah, yeah, there you 
Let me just. Um, okay, so don't, don't pour any more water in yet. Let me just come around and give you guys a hand. So you sort it out, mixing it all up, get all of the flour off in there. This is starting to feel really, really good. There we go. Getting some good dumpling mix going there. Yours is almost ready. You guys need a hand over there? You want to do it? Okay, keep doing that. Alright, let me have a look at yours. Maybe, yeah? Hang on a sec. Are you kneading? Kneading, yes, that's what it's called. Kneading the dumpling. Who told you that? Because uh, we make lots of sourdough. Sashi, that's looking good. So I've already bought like. Um, Hang on a sec, let me just switch. One ounce of silver and one ounce of gold. Yeah, it's coming around well. Not, not Sasha, no more actually, water, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need any more water. It does get a bit messy, but don't okay. worry. Because that's the way to wash hands. You keep kneading that, alright? Mm -hmm. Ebony, you just keep kneading that. It's feeling that. much better because it was really sticky before. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah get all the flour off. Sasha, that's looking good already. You keep going though. Pretty soon we'll be able to start frying dumplings. This is a quick dish. When my mum was cooking for us to go to school, man, I used to get up early in the morning. And I Sometimes I cook my own breakfast. Sometimes I cook your own breakfast? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. So you can do it. Sasha, let me give you a hand with yours. This morning I cook my own breakfast. And then what did you make? Oh, Sasha, this is, this is virtually very, this is almost perfect. Wow. You did a good job here. You did a very good job here, Sasha. Alright, you guys are going great. How about this one? Let me see yours. Let me see, let me have a look. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is, we're going to get rid of, we're going to put it on the chopping board, get rid of the excess flour. Alright, you don't need any more flour. We keep kneading it in the pan. It's good to be at the baseline. Sasha, that's good, keep going. Very dry. I think it's coming on perfectly. Okay, you can knead it now on the chicken in the kitchen bench. Uh, maybe let me have a look at yours. Yeah, this is good. Huh? You can put yours on the chopping board, and I'll get rid of this for you. Maybe um, you can use this chopping board here to continue to knead the dumpling. There we go. Put it on the chopping board. Alright, start heating away. Alright, I'll do a little bit of washing up while the guys continue to knead the dumpling. And then I'm going to teach you how to make the dumpling. Huh? Just keep pushing it down like that. So you like what Sashi is doing and what, what Avani is doing. You think you're making pizza, do you? No. You're beefing up the dough. You did a great job, guys. It's really tough, Okay. This one can take one. Yeah, that's, that's looking not good. Not looking good. Looking good. It's like that toy. It's um, the, the wrong <laughs> It gets a bit messy, doesn't it? Um, um, let me have a look. Like let, me have a, let me see. It's his. Yeah, this is dummy. good. This is good. This is very good. It's going to make good, good dumplings. Let me see yours. This is good. Oh, this is very good, too. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Let's see yours. So we've made these before. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I've made dumplings before. I've made two. All right. You know what I'm gonna do now? Mm -hmm. You don't know what I'm gonna do. No. Uh, all right. So what we're gonna do now? We're going to wrap up the dough in a little bit of plastic cling wrap. Yours first. I was working a lot and then, uh, We're going to just leave it for about uh, 10 minutes, all right? Uh, just leave it here for Nike. 10 minutes. Yeah. Remember we're showing you stuff. Yeah. Your... You can wash your hands now at the top. Yeah, One at a time, please. Uh, wash your hands at the top. Make sure it's not too much hot water. Uh, this uh, rollers in. This uh, one is Sashi's and this one is Navy. All right. Dave, I'll put all on that. Well done, guys. You made your first dough for fried dumplings. All right, there's something else that we have to make. So, yeah, okay.
Oh, the insides. There's nothing that goes inside. These are not typical dumplings. Yeah, something like that. So, watch this up. We're going to do the banana fritters mix while the dumpling mix gets. Wash hands, dry hands. because they need a bit of water in it anyway. So, one banana each. One banana each. And you're going to squash this banana, right? You're going gonna to get a fork. And I'm going to get a start. So I shouldn't just get a fork. You got yeah, that's all right. There's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with a little bruise on the banana. We just cut it off. Because the banana the needs birds, to be. <laughs> banana bread? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're making fritters today. I'll start it off for you, Sashi. Uh, in the fridge there, Sashi, is some um, buttermilk. Maybe we'll make. Um, maybe we'll do two bananas each. <laughs> So we want to get another banana. Me. Two bananas each. This one here. All right. This is the start of the banana fritters. All right. Oh, two bananas. This what I would like to say probably is a Jamaican pancake. I don't really got one. You got one. So have I. Okay. Squash it up. Squash it up, squash it up. Oh, hang on a sec, let me give you a start because the bananas are not soft, these ones. They're not, they're not very soft like one we used last time, they were well ripe. They need to be more ripened. I'm gonna get a fork. Just let me just smash it up as much as I can for you so, so that it's not too hard for you to do. Yeah? Okay. Um, where's Avon? Yeah. Okay. You can get straight in there and start squashing that one up. And we need another fork. Um, I got one fork. You want me to squash it up for you? Alright, let me. Can I have one of those? There's only one of those because we're not a commercial kitchen. We're just a little family. You know? Family kitchen, so we don't have any commercial stuff. There's only one of those, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But we'll share it. As soon as everyone's been able to squash up there, we'll share it. You know? so. Not too long to go, though. Yeah, you guys like cooking? Yeah. Yeah, we like cooking. Me and Sasha love to cook all the we saw the very videos and then saw what? We saw what? We saw some of the videos. Oh, cool. Not all of them. They've seen one at least. Okay, then. Just keep squashing that up. Just keep squashing that up. This will make it easier for you to squash it if we put a little bit of um, buttermilk in there. I was in Jamaica. All right. Go again. Keep squashing. I mean, like, I thought we were squashing, keep squashing, 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 squashing it all up, yeah? Keep going, keep going, keep going. This is the banana fritters mix. Banana fritters just taste like banana. Have you had it before? Yeah, we ate it last time. Mm. Mm. Keep going, nice. Hold, hold the ball with one hand and use the other hand to squash it. So hold it and get right in there. These are the junior chefs. 
making Jamaican food for lunch today? No, it was dinner time. Dinner time, is it? Yes, I thought it was dinner time. Okay, so a teaspoon of sugar, just to make it in each one. Teaspoon of sugar in the mixture, mix it around. There's a spoon there, Sashi, if you want. Oh, you can use the fork to mix it around. Teaspoon of sugar in the mix, and another one over there. Over to the Navia. Oh, look at all the fruits we're actually, look at all the fruits we're working with today. Papa. Um, that one is the cinnamon. No, it's the nutmeg. It's nutmeg? Yeah, so you put it in last, put the cinnamon, you're gonna put cinnamon in now. That's good, Cons good consistency there, eh? good smashing it up. Yeah, keep going now, keep going. Huh? Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. Guys, put uh, a teaspoon of, of, of nutmeg in. Nutmeg in. Finished, We've got it? nutmeg and cinnamon that is going into the mix. Is that enough? That's enough, yeah. Just put sprinkling it all in there. Sprinkle it in. Yeah. Cool. Don't worry about don't worry about the mess, right? It's it's gonna be nice, even though we're making a mess, it's gonna be nice food, so doesn't matter. What does it look like in there? See, that's nice. Let's keep mixing it up though. Keep going. This is the beginning of banana fritters. Jamaican Whoopsies. Oh, it's chaos in the kitchen. Chaos in the kitchen. All right, so. Whoopsies. Get all the, all the mixture in. I guess we're having fruit on the pancakes. Fruit's going on the pancakes, yes. That, that, cinnamon, cherries. All right, so. I think I might have to come and help you guys with the vanilla. Sure. Gotta get a little bit of vanilla in there. Vanilla? Which one's the Mixing away, mixing away, mixing away, mixing away. 
Right, while you guys are doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the pan on the fire for the dumplings, alright? Are we going to have fries? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. We're the ones that are going to try this. Keep Where mixing it up. You're getting tired? Is your arm, arm getting tired? Okay, don't worry, I'll come and help you in a minute. So, just keep mixing up, mixing up. Nice. It's good. So, some people probably use a blender to do this mix or some kind of a dough mixer. I would rather use a blender. No, we're not using a blender. We don't have blenders in Jamaica. Oh, we do, but we never had them when we were little. So, Can you do it now? Yeah, all right. So maybe you want to go wash your hands now and get ready for the next stage. Okay, girls, now you've made your own dumplings and chicken fingers. Now I need the three of you to have a bite and give me a facial expression of how you think it is. How do you think it is? Yeah, good. Good? Yummy. Yeah. What about the chicken fingers? Oh, they're hot. They're hot? Oh, oopsie. Chicken fingers. Let's go. I good. Yummy. Yums? All right. That's... Uh, that's the Jamaican style chicken fingers with fried dumplings. How many times have we said fried dumplings today? A hundred. hundred maybe. Five. And we're having, it, we're having it with a papa and banana with ice cream and passion fruit smoothie. Wow. And after that, we're going to make a couple of um, banana fritters. You guys are going to have to go to the gym after this. You're going to have to start working out. Oh, yeah, you're too young to work out. That's right. Yeah, you're not old enough to work out, so. Uncle Jay's in the kitchen. Big up yourself. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> nice. Happy with that? Happy with the job? Good. Okay. Nice cooking, then. All right, we're ready to make the banana fritters. We've already made the mixture. And uh, now we just got the pan going. We got the pan going, so I'm gonna put some oil in it. Oh, I know what we could do. We could go, we could all just, so Sashi could put one in, and then I could put one in, and then Naira could put one in. That's all. No, I gotta show you a technique. Okay, so I'm, I'm teaching you how to make, how to make this particular banana fritters. So. I have to show you how it all done, okay? All right, so let's just get the pan warm up a little bit. Get it close to the pan, remember? The bowl, close to the pan. And just uh, put it in the middle or in the corner, wherever. Just put in another one. These are Sashi's uh, banana fritters. And then the girls are gonna go get their own bowl. And get your own bowl, girls, to put in your fritters. That's I still have no, no more, no more. I still the girls put because no one's gonna to feel the spoon more. up. Feel the spoon up. You can use my spoon. Okay, okay. Get it in. It's gonna end up touching the other one. That's fine. Just put it in there. Put one more in, so you're making. One for yourself and one for your dad. <laughs> so he's gonna end up with two. So hold the ball closer to yeah, yeah, that's it. And just put it in the corner there. No problems. I'm gonna have one and I'm gonna you get a fork, Sashi. I'm gonna have one and then give one to my mom. But your mom's not here. Am I save the mixture till she gets back? Let's move it out of the way. Let's move it out of the way. No, Navy is putting in two right there. So hold the pan very close, close to the thing, yeah, and then you can just take it out and put it in. Like they're ready. Oh, they're 
Yeah, that's good. Just put it there. Excellent. And one I'm here. Sorry, and one here. Imagine. Um, yeah, just put it in there. Just, right just now, put. Yeah. It yeah, if you were a Alright, that's cool. Then okay, then you can put the bowl away now. Yeah. And we just wait for them to cook and then we will uh, okay. get them on the plate. Mine are the two I'll have to turn these, Sashi, because yeah. I'll have to turn these because they're um, they're they're a can little I have bit. It? No, you can't have it. It's burnt. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to ruin your experience with the banana fritters by eating a burnt one. And we get to make it um, put on our own toppings and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. I'll so you want to get you want to get the plates that you're gonna need. To get some plates, get ready. You can start. Uh, you can start putting. Um, you can start putting. No, no. What? Why don't you like Elsa? Elsa's pretty cool. So, is your name? Your name is Daniel, is it? That, what does the plate say? Daniel. Daniel, and this one says. Sasha. Sasha. Where are you go. Hello, Daniel. How are you? Hi, I'm not Daniel. <laughs> Your plate name's Daniel. That doesn't mean I'm Daniel. Fair enough. Nice and golden brown. Banana fritters, just about ready. Three little master chefs are serving up their um, banana fritters with is it lemon sorbet? Yeah. Wow. And uh, cherries. I put a cherry on top. <laughs> a cherry on top. A little bit of sugar. Get get a mint leaf. Get a mint. Do you want an ice cream? That looks good. I want to see who can make the best decoration. Wait. The best topping. A little bit of passion fruit on the sorbet. That's good. Go on, go on the other side, Evany. Go on the other side. Yeah, because I want you in the shot. Go around next to the other girls. Oh, and uh, put the lid back on the um, on this. Some maple syrup. And some cherries oh. and mint. Okay. Wow, that's a pretty rich lunch, isn't it? And I get a fork. Um, I think got a at the end. Yes. Sometimes we either get bad chocolate after. Right. Or, uh, oh, you can skip that and just have fruit. Why don't you just have an apple? <laughs> 